You can find an overview of all my videos at www.genesispc.com and you click on the button videos on YouTube. This video is about correlation coefficients. Sometimes you want to calculate if you have multiple variables, independent and dependent ones, then you want to find out what the correlation is between all of them, between themselves, that's always one, otherwise it's positive or negative, minus one or plus one as a maximum. So you want to, um, to find out how to do that. Uh, I did all of that already for you. Why do you need this? Because sometimes you want to find is there collinearity. If you don't know what that is, I will not discuss that issue. You really need a little more help on those issues. And I did that with two CD-ROMs and one book. And it goes into all kinds of issues of statistical analysis and it discusses what collinearity is and why do you need to find out and when do you accept it and when do you not accept it. But that's not the issue of this video. I'm going to find out how do I calculate this. First of all, you have to realize that I named all these ranges. So age is that one, etc. I'm going to delete those names. Formulas, name manager, and all the names that I have in there, I'm going to delete. I had many more in there for other reasons. So now these formulas don't work anymore. So the question is, how can you name them very quickly without highlighting everything? Control shift arrow down, control shift arrow to the right. That is not possible maybe in Macintosh computers, but in Windows that is possible, otherwise you have to just highlight it. Then you go to formulas again, and instead of name manager, you say create from selection. And create name from the values in the top row. Age, weight, those are the labels, or the headers. So we are going to use those for a name. Okay. And now these formulas work again. So how can we make those formulas work? First of all, we have to make sure that we have these copied. Control C, Control V, or copy them by holding the Control key. Then we copy them again, Control C, but this time we transpose. Home, paste, paste special, transpose. So now the question is, what do we put in here? We are going to calculate correlations, so we need the Coral. Coral or Pearson. They give the same results. In the past there was a slight difference, but no more. So and it wants the correlation between array 1 and array 2. The first array is the age name. But this is not a name, it's text. So how can we change that text into a reference to a range? By using the function indirect. I can type it. And I select G10. But make sure that that G never changes. 10 should change into 11 for weight, etc. So I press F4 a few times until G is locked, and 10 is not locked. You can do that in Windows, but not in Macintosh. So you have to type the string. And the other one is also based on a text indirect. This time that guy. And this time we need to lock the, the row 9. And the result is a volatile. So I click on OK and it gives me a correlation with itself that is 1. So I can copy that down and I can copy that to the right. Especially when you have multiple variables, that's a good way to do and you can find where there is collinearity. 
what kind of conclusions you are going to take from this I will not explain in this video. This is just about how you make formulas by using the Carl function and the indirect function. If you want to know more, go here and you get not only a lot of information on statistical analysis, but also on curve fitting and regression analysis. How do you plot data in charts and graphs? And how do you do data analysis, including multi-cell arrays and single cell arrays? You can find all of this at genesispc.com. It has helped thousands of people to become professionals with Excel and science.